Parent Church family, it's Friday morning, uh, some beautiful weather today. Listen, I'm outside this morning. Glad to be back with you on these devotional videos. Uh, today, man, goodness, the reading was great. Matthew chapter 13. I'm going to tell you, it was action-packed, full of stuff as a preacher of the Word of God. Uh, man, I was just digesting the passage, thinking, man, there's so much truth uh, that uh, a man could preach through. There's so much truth that a person could talk through. And so just today, I just want to share some thoughts. I re read the entire chapter. That was our reading, or all the way to verse 53. Not going to go back and read those, uh, but I'm trusting if you watched the video that you read this morning. But I wanted to share with you kind of what this passage meant to me, maybe apply it to our lives. Uh, I'm here this morning, and I'm in my garden, so I want you to see it this morning. Um, got a just a little plot here we've kind of fertilized and made Good. So we got rose, uh, we've got some uh, pepper plants, we've got our tomato plants, and uh, this year we actually expanded it. So I've got this additional section. I'm letting my crazy stuff go here: the cucumbers, zucchini, cantaloupe, things that run wild. So hopefully we can contain the vines a little bit. Um, but we have a lot of fun in the garden. The family likes to participate. Uh, so a few weeks ago we tilled this up and rode it up and. We planted several rows of seeds here, and I gotta tell you, I'm just been a little disappointed. Uh, we've got this row here I wanna show you that we planted and it didn't do so well. And not sure why, but if you can see this, we planted seeds about every 18 inches, but I've got little or nothing here. I'll show you, I've got one plant that took hold here and is looking healthy. And then I've got another one about four foot down and then my goodness, I think the rest of this is just weeds um, coming back up. And so I thought today about the the sower, and I was thinking about this. I, I, I we did everything right, really. Uh, got everything prepared. I sowed seed that was good seed, but for whatever reason, it just didn't come up uh, this time. Maybe too much rain, not enough heat. Um, it's been a very wet spring. Uh, so it didn't come up and it can be a little discouraging. And Jesus man, just talks about the sower so much in this passage and um, just talks about how the, the, the sower sowed good seed and uh, some of it took hold and uh, some of it was choked out by thorns and some of it was, you know, burnt out by the sun and just didn't have deep enough roots and stony ground and then some actually more fruit and it's all about the fact that God's uh, you know made it clear Jesus was the original sower of the Word of God and then he's very clearly left us to continue that ministry of sowing the Word of God in the world that we live in and listen it's not easy it, it and doesn't just come lightly it takes hard work this garden didn't happen by accident uh, man we had to prepare there was some planning there was some some effort put into it and the same is true in the world that you and I live in. When we're sowing the Word of God, when we're sharing the Word of God, and it, it's work and it can be discouraging. And I've known people to get real excited about evangelism. And let me say, everybody should be excited about evangelizing. Everybody should be excited about telling people about Jesus and taking every opportunity. And I've watched people get excited and uh, thinking that everyone they tell about Jesus is gonna be receptive or that everyone that they engage with the gospel and maybe even get them to church a few times is gonna blossom and, and just, uh, you know, take off. And uh, there certainly are those that do, but there are a lot that don't. And we shouldn't be surprised because Jesus made it clear. He said that, you know, wide is the gate that leads to destruction and many go there. Uh, narrow is the gate that leads to life eternal. And there's few that find it. And so he already told us the odds, that the odds are that uh, if I tell 10 people about Jesus, that I, I should not expect that all 10 are gonna fall madly in love with the savior of the world and continue on in the same mission I'm on. But I just have to know that, uh, hey, there, there's gonna be some that don't come up and my garden, my spiritual garden that I'm planting, it may look a little spotty at times, but I want to encourage you today. Listen, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm not going to put down 
you know, what I do, but I'm gonna continue to plant. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take more good seed and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna plant again. And I'm gonna trust the Lord for the rain. I'm gonna trust the Lord for the sunshine. And I'm gonna trust that some of these will take hold and that I will see fruit by and by. So today, let me encourage you, uh, you're a sower. The seed is the word of God and it's God's plan for us. And don't be discouraged by the outcome. My job is to sow. Jesus's job is to save. Your job is to sow the word of God. The Holy Spirit convicts men and calls men to repentance. I can't do it and you can't do it. So I just gotta do my job really good in the best way I know how. And I trust the Holy Spirit and the Lord in my life for the outcome in other people's lives. So today, go out there and sow the word of God. Next week, go out there and sow the word of God. Don't get discouraged, don't worry about it. Praise the Lord for the plant that does come up. If you got spots in your spiritual garden, just get the seed out and sow it again because you'll reap a harvest, the Bible says, if we don't faint. He says, in due season, man will reap. So. Uh, I hope your Friday is a good Friday. I hope if you haven't been reading along with us in our chronological reading, that you'll decide to read the Word of God. And I want to say a word of prayer for you, and uh, I look forward to when we can meet together again soon. I can see your faces, shake your hands, hug your necks. I've missed being together. Father, thank you for this day. I pray for a good Friday, that it'd be a, a prosperous day, a healthy day. And uh, even in the midst of quarantine, I pray that we would find ways to sow the Word of God. I pray that we just find ways to speak into people's lives and to share the good news that Jesus saves. And I pray that we would not get discouraged uh, by maybe the lack of response or by not actually seeing the outcome uh, one day in, in someone's life because they just didn't receive or maybe they moved away and we don't even get to see what the future holds for them. But I pray that we'd be faithful to sow the word of God and to trust you for the outcome. Thank you for my, bro my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Give them a great Friday. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Go sow. Sow the word of God.